Collect Those Taxes, a mini musical by Joanne J. Johnson, taken from Luke 19, 1 through 10, and also from portions of Luke 17 and 18. This is the story of Zacchaeus, or as some pronounce it, Zacchaeus. The setting is Jericho. The setting is Jericho. In the town center, with a residential area to one side, we have the chief administration building in the office of the chief tax collector, who is Zacchaeus. Next to that, a merchant shop. The merchant is Simon. He sells fruits and vegetables and meats. And then he has sells fruits and vegetables and meats. And then we have the victim's house, the taxpayer, and the house of Zacchaeus. There is a large, there is a large sycamore tree in the town center area. Good morning, Zach. Expecting a good day? Oh, good morning, Simon. It's always a good day when my men are out collecting taxes. <laughs> oh, they're still out collecting? That's right. Uh, but you better mind your store, Simon. You got a customer. Oh, so I do. Good day, ma'am. May I help you? Uh, yes. I'd like six oranges. And, uh, those two apples, right there. The shiny ones. Ooh. 
Here you are, ma'am. That'll be three drachma. One, two, three. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the fruit. Have a fruit. Have a good day. Oh, I will, I'm sure. I'm sure. Three drachma. <laughs> Never mind, Zach. Ah, here come your public and tax collectors now. Like your men had a good day. Double dealing again, eh? <laughs> you really know how to do a dishonest day's work. <laughs> yeah, hey, look who's talking. How many fingers yeah, the last time you weighed that bag of fruit for your customers? You old chiseler, you. <laughs> They'll never know the difference. Besides, double taxation is much worse in my book. I mean, you really gouge him. <laughs> But that's what I like about living in old Jericho, sin city of Jericho, sin city of the world. Got to keep up our reputation. <laughs> Look, here comes another one of your tax men. Here's this month's collection, Zacchaeus. Collection? Well, we can't get rich this way. What's the matter with you, Mr. Publican? You know the rules. Twice as much. Twice as much. Where have you been? And what have you been doing? There's a lot of excitement just outside the city limits. Jesus just healed blind Bartimaeus. There's no end. There's no end to the master's miracles. Blind Bartimaeus? The beggar? That's right. He can see. And he's running everywhere, telling everyone. Oh, he's a happy man. <laughs> Well, this Jesus, he may be a miracle worker, but what I want to know, does he pay taxes? I don't think he needs to, but he does. Just the other day, one of our men challenged his disciple, Peter. Does your master pay taxes? Yes, Peter said. Then Jesus told him to go to the sea and cast in a hook, and the first fish he caught had money in its mouth, which paid the tax. Another miracle. Oh. Oh, ah, he provides miracle coins, too. Mm. <laughs> hmm. You seem awfully impressed by this miracle worker. Have you been listening? Yes, I have. And, Zach, I have to tell you, I'm cleaning up my act. No more double taxation for me. No more. Ah, I see. This man must have some power over you. Say what you will, but he made me know I am a but he made me know I am a sinner. And I have asked God's forgiveness. The Pharisees stand proudly and pray while they cover up their sins. They're the worst. But I was so ashamed I couldn't even look up when I cried out, Oh God, people to me a sinner. And I tell you, Zach, I left that place justified. I'm a new man. You should go hear him. He's coming this way. You may find it difficult getting close because of the crowds that swarm the master. But it's worth it. You'll think of something. You always do. I'm sure you've guessed by now that no one likes 
Zacchaeus because he was a dishonest, nasty tax collector. He was one of the hated publicans. Not only that, but he was the head man, the chief tax collector, part of the administration. bigger than you, so don't play dumb. You know what we do. We make the rules. Do what we say. We come collecting to make your day. <laughs> Biz business is business. Don't hide your money with Collect Off D. We're here to cause you misery. Pay up, my friend. Yeah, pay the tax. Because if you don't, we'll give you the act. are too sure things that in fact I recognize, but if I had a choice to make, I'd wish for my demise. Taxes are so taxing, yeah, I wish that I was dead, but no such luck is at my door as the tax collector instead. My head is spinning, spinning with these taxes I must pay. I work my fingers to the bone every night and day. And now I have no money to keep my humble home. These taxes are so taxed and I work my fingers to the bone. Oh. My head is spinning, spinning. Here's old Zach again. He cheated me, cheated me so many times. This is his biggest sin. He's taken all my money, much more than I should pay. Maybe if I hold my breath, old Zach will go away. Don't count on it. Business is business. Now, if old Zach could meet the master, I wonder what he'd do. He couldn't fool the Lord. His dirty soul, he'd see right through. But I don't think there's any hope for one so bad as he. He'd probably ask the Lord to pay, and he'd collect the fee. <laughs> in Jericho. He performs miracles. Yes, Jesus was traveling through the city on his way to the to raise his friend Lazarus from the dead. After old Zach heard that Jesus was in town, he wanted to see this one they call the master for himself. The master does miracles. He's wonderful. This is Jesus, God's son. I've never seen anyone like him.
Jesus Christ, the master, is a passing through. Chief of tax collect, chief of tax collectors, what you gonna do? You may be rich, but you're a little, stretch your neck so you can see. The son of God, the master, man from Galilee. Zacchaeus, what you doing running through that? Don't you know that pushing and shoving aren't allowed? You're a tax collector, no one's gonna let you see. The son of God, the master man from Galilee. Zacchaeus, what you doing climbing that old tree? Just how desperate are you, little man, to see the master we call Jesus, the man of Galilee? That is what you do when up that sycamore tree. Zach is what you do when looking all around. Well, here comes Jesus saying, Zacchaeus, come down. Hurry, say the master, I must stay with you at your house on this very day. The people were astonished. He's a sinner, they said. To think this man would be his guest fills their hearts with dread. Zacchaeus, what to do when you're a nasty tax cheat? All you ever cause is a lot of grief, a lot of grief. But Zacchaeus hurried down and welcomed Christ with joy. While all the people grumbled, condemned. Give it to the needy to show that I'm no longer greedy. Zacchaeus, what you doing? Get me on to seek and save the lost. And the master man from Galilee didn't count the cost. Zacchaeus, what to do when wiping them big tears? Crying like a baby, the man of years. Zacchaeus, what to do when smiling that big grin? You see the other joke because you fall. Zacchaeus, today salvation has come to your house. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for forgiving me. Mister, did you hear what Jesus said to me? Today salvation has come to your house, descendant of Abraham. Praise God! Praise God! Zach, I knew you'd find a way. I knew you'd get to Jesus. Things will be different now. You'll see. Yes, no more cheating, and I'm paying back all that I've stolen, four times as much. Oh, I believe Jesus is the Son of God. Hallelujah! 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 So Jesus went to Zacchaeus' house. And old Zach was never the same again. His whole life changed because Jesus brought him salvation.
He believed this miracle worker was who he said he was, the Son of God. And a miracle happened in his life. Everyone was astounded at Zacchaeus, the dishonest publican tax collector, paid back all he had stolen, up to four times as much. Old Zac really made his house ready. His heart was prepared for salvation. Jesus wants to come to your house today. Will you invite him into your life? Will you make your house ready by placing your faith in Jesus Christ? Ask him to forgive you of all your sins. You can trust in his love. And he will change your life like he did old Zach's. And you'll never be the same again. Well, you're probably wondering what happened to old Simon the merchant. <laughs> well, I can tell you when he saw what happened to Zach, he was convinced. And he accepted Jesus too. Jesus is 